everybody, Adam here. Uh, kind of an ad hoc video. But I got a lot of people asking me how I play Higher Ground by Stevie Wonder, the clavinet parts, that is. Uh, and I don't really know a lot about notation. I can't read music worth a damn, so... This isn't going to be super formal, but enough people figured, just play it slow and we'll try to figure out what you're doing. Uh, again, I apologize, the camera angle, this is as best as I can get it. This damn thing won't mount to anything. Ideally, I could put it on a miner's helmet and just be like aiming down point of view, because that'd be bitching. It'd be an FPS. A anyway, uh, so here's what he's doing. He's, plays, he's basically playing E, what is this, E flat major? Uh, F sharp major, G sharp major, which, that sounds like ass, but he's adding groove to it, and, and he's kind of improvising within the chord, so he's going, so, You want to give it that clavinet kind of, you want to spank it. But here's the thing that I think a lot of people will benefit from. He, you'll notice he's not just going. He's going, he's adding some trills. Mostly on black keys, so this isn't as hard a song to play as a lot of people would think. But you know, when you've got uh, when you've got the backing track to it, when he, you know, because he's got two different clavinet tracks playing at once. Uh, but unlike Superstition, the second one isn't super important to getting that overall sound. Uh, I think the other track is just going. crap like that but so you got a trill this is the important part don't just go go see take both hands don't be afraid to trill with this one again but not with this one. Got to give it that kind of spank, you know, really slap that clavinet. You got to give it the right swing. It has a, bu, 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 you know, it's not a straight it's a beat, it's swung. Uh, so... just how he's playing the chord instead of just going he's breaking it up he's going and with a uh, different volume and dynamics but I can't stress the importance of uh, this hand enough when you're playing this because this is the one that's really keeping the whole melody this is the one that's going ba -da 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 -da, whereas these are just you know, it's it's just keeping the basic chord, so. And then he goes to F. Again, same thing. Up to uh, G sharp. G sharp. And then I think this is A sharp. So. And then I think he just stays in G sharp, but he adds a little, instead of going, he's uh, going back a key here. Again, I'm sorry, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about musically, but. And then the, the finale of the whole progression is. So now I'll put 
put the wah-wah over it and I'll play along to the backing. I have drums, my own bass, uh, mini Moog bass, and uh, the alternate clav parts. So here's, here is without me playing at all. So you can see that that cl that alternate clavinet track really isn't super important, but it's when you add the that's when the magic happens. So let's try that. I don't know why I have so much reverb on this. There we go. All right, so now try to follow along. Uh... <laughs> G-sharp major with a little... That's the important part. Watch this. And then back to C-sharp major. And then you can kind of... I usually improv. So, I mean, I I hope this was helpful. I it probably wasn't, but uh, you know, Shkata, what do you want from me? <laughs>